I'm here today with Tammy and Danny Sample, and they're the owners of Saluria Brewing Company, and we are inside checking this amazing place out. So we are so excited. Things are getting close, right? Yes, definitely. We are just a few weeks away. Yeah. Um, I know y'all had a lot of things outside your control that you had to get done, and um, so it's taking a little longer. Kind of what's your projected month? Time. Right now we're looking towards a September opening date. Uh, we just had a few little setbacks uh, regarding trying to get the right electrical equipment in, trying to get the right water lines in so that we make sure that we're making the best beer possible. Yeah, that's right, and that's important. Do it all right up front and then it'll flow, right? Exactly. Um, I'm really impressed with the way it looks, so y'all have done a lot and it looks like it's going to be a really fun place to come. We plan to be the spot to be in Alabaster. And I'm sure you will be. So tell us what a typical night will look like. Well, actually here on a typical night is going to be as a simple tap room opening. All of the equipment will be available for everyone to see, but we will have eight taps available for beers to be served. Um, we'll have sitting areas, we'll have gaming such as board games, we'll have dartboard, and of course we've got to have a cornhole. Yeah, that'd be fine. So in, in, your, in the future you're going to do a beer garden out back? Tell me about that. Yes, out back we're working on a beer garden area to where you can sit outside when it's nice weather uh, to enjoy a good beer out back. Uh, friends, family, uh, enjoy the outside. And it's going to be an easy walk. There's also in back we'll have a place where we can have bands be able to play. The loading dock will also count as a stage. So we kind of got a two for one on that one. <laughs> yeah. And then on the inside we'll have uh, just simple acoustical music at different times. So. Uh, one of the things we're looking to do is probably even a trivia night, so it kind of seems to be the thing that a lot of folks like to do. Yeah, you're going to try to get some food trucks in here? Definitely, we'll have food trucks. Um, planning on having different um, food trucks come on different days so that we don't have you know everybody here at once. And we plan on announcing that on our Facebook page, you know, which night we'll have different food trucks. So definitely plan to have that available for everyone. Tell us about the event room. Okay, the event room is going to be available to people that would like to have a special area just for them. Um, we'll have for, we have some people that are reserving it for receptions, for uh, rehearsal dinners that will also have food catered in for those events. Um, corporate events can be hosted here. So just any private party. We have a room. Yeah, I already heard somebody wanting to have a couple's baby shower here. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> It'd so, be fun. Yeah, the room is uh, large enough to handle about uh, 25 to 35 people. Um, there'll be audio visual in there for presentations for, uh, like Tammy said, corporate events to come in and do training events, whether it's uh, to pitch a product or anything of that. It becomes available. It's going to be available even in hours in which we're not open for business. And how does the food work with that? Can they have caterers bring food yes, in? Definitely, for them? they'll have the caterers bring the food in. We'll um, have it an area set up for them to be able to to have the food, but um, they will definitely need to have their caterers bring in the food. Yeah. Okay. Well, fun. Well, tell us about what's right behind us and give us the process at the. Well, basically making. behind us right now, we do have the tap room area as we're standing. We have the bar area where the taps uh, come straight from the cold room. So we're not running any lines to our taps. The taps are connected to the cold room, so they're coming straight out of the kegs into the cold room. Now to get to the kegs, it goes through the process of the beer making, which we have a five barrel brew house with three five barrel fermenters that are also jacketed, which means that as the beer ferments, after it completes fermentation, it will then be conditioned with the carbon dioxide, CO2, to give it the the bubbliness of beer and so from there it's then put into the kegs, kegs into the cold room. And it looks really good. I mean it's pretty. <laughs> it, it looks it's really good back steel. there. Yeah. yeah so it's all stainless steel. And you're gonna have a stand-up bar too near it? Yes we'll have a we'll have a little fence around it to where it doesn't separate you completely from the equipment that kind of keeps the manufacturing area away from the general public. Um, it'll be an area there'll be some sitting around it but there'll also be a place where you can kind of just stand there and look at it place to sit your beer and uh, a cup of coffee and, and enjoy it. <laughs> and admire it, yeah. That's right, it's, it's, it's worth admiring, it's really pretty. Uh, well, I'm super excited for you guys. I know this is gonna be a great place for people to come and they've told us we're gonna be the first ones to know. So be watching our Facebook page and we'll let you know when the grand opening is and we'll be here that night to do some live video and just have some fun with you guys. Absolutely. Looking forward, Looking to, forward it. to it. Thank you very much. Thank you.